A young Ghanaian lady and a slay queen, Safina Diamond, has been arrested for stabbing her boyfriend to death. According to reports, they said that the young lady stabbed her boyfriend, who just returned from Canada, in the neck and stomach multiple times, leading to death. She was then arraigned at the Adenta Court Complex, Friday, July 28th, where she claimed that she killed him in self-defense because he was attempting to rape her. It was also further gathered that she had an accomplice who is said to also be her boyfriend. The duo, that's the two of them, have now been, you know, remanded in police custody and the case adjourned to August 12th, 2022. Guys, I'm going to play the video so that you guys can see where they were taking her to. When I actually read the story, I just felt like something is not just right. This story is not complete. I wish the boyfriend can actually even tell us what actually happened, you know, because now this girl is claiming that, oh, he was trying to rape her and then you stabbed the poor man. I don't know. The, uh, why are you going to be stabbing someone in self-defense? Like, even if you want to, like, try to ensure that, oh, this guy does not rape you, you either stab him on the leg or somewhere you know then i it's almost as if you no know, she was really trying to kill him you know stabbing him in the stomach multiple times stabbing him on the neck multiple times she was actually trying to ensure that he would die and then you dump the body ah, and you have an accomplice that means you had a boyfriend so probably she was dating these two people and this guy comes into the picture from canada but as a woman as a girl i know that oh if i have a boyfriend in canada and i have one more boyfriend in ghana i'm even going to try as much as possible to ensure i keep the relationship i have with the canada guy because i'm going to go and be with him in canada please who does not like better thing it's either he told you something that oh okay i want to break up with you or oh i found someone back in Canada that I want to sit down with and you got really angry. It's possible that she liked this guy and then she was hoping that oh when he comes up from Canada, you know, she'll find she find to like she'll have to like settle with this guy, right? And maybe he found out about the other boyfriend that she had and he decided, you know what, I'm not going to keep dating you. I found out that oh you're dating this guy, blah blah blah. And probably came to sleep with her and told her the truth and she got angry and stabbed him it's it's not just adding up it's not adding up it's not adding up because if she's the one cheating on this guy she's the one who is cheating on him right with someone else the guy's life is moving perfectly you are living in canada do you know how many people probably how many girls would be rushing rushing it's like it's a, actually talk to you do you understand and you are living comfortably in a country like canada you probably you have a job you know you're settled in canada and then you come back to ghana and you meet this girl who is in another relationship if i'm the one i won't even be disturbed like as a guy it's even the guy who is supposed to tap the girl because probably his heart you know his heart to come back and meet his babe or his girlfriend in the arms of another man so it's even the guy who is in canada i'm even like oh okay he's the one that should stab the girl out of anger right because you as a girl you've already even found someone that you are even in a relationship with you already even found someone that you want to be with that you've said that oh this is the one i want to date you found someone and you're dating that person so why are you not trying to kill someone else it must be that you are evil for you to actually feel like you can kill someone 
multiple times take the person's life is relationship really by force i don't even understand what's happening all these killings here and there all these killings here and there people need to start asking themselves questions this person is never your husband this person you've never married the person yet you're already stabbing the person to death okay when you marry the person what will happen because in marriages things happen people are not perfect people do things that you probably will not like why are you trying to always claim ownership to someone are you the owner of that person? Why do you think you have the power to take the life of that person just because the person is in a relationship with you? You should rot in that jail because I don't believe this whole self-defense thing. Because it's your boyfriend. He's your boyfriend. You say he's trying to rape you. Help me to make this make sense. You are the one who is dating someone else. Except this guy is not your boyfriend because... If this guy is not your boyfriend and he's not coming to rape you, why is he coming to rape you? I need to understand, like, what is, what is the relationship you guys have that he's trying to force his way? Because I know one thing with people who are in abroad, especially guys, especially Ghanaian guys, who are abroad, the moment they go back home, in short, the moment you're abroad, you become hot kick everybody's trying to ensure that they maintain relationship with you everybody's trying to be nice to you because then as a girl now you know now when you ain't person they are abroad you're trying to ensure that you, you have a good relationship with this person so that by the time the person come back the person you and the person can end up together so probably that was the game she was trying to play trying to maintain a good relationship with the guy and then maybe the guy comes back telling her that, oh, I don't want to be with you. Because that's the only thing I know that will anger a girl to stab a man. Because he's saying that, oh, I don't want to be with you. I found someone else that I want to be with. Especially if the person that he's not deciding to be with is someone she knows. Maybe her friend or somebody that she knows. That will be something that will trigger her to say, you know what, I'm going to end this guy's life. It's not by self-defense that will make her end the guy's life. It's by the fact that she has found out that, oh, this guy has something to do with someone that she she's close to. One of the things that used to trigger women to actually commit something like this is when this guy is cheating on her or she realizes that, oh, this guy is going to be with someone that she knows. That's the kind of thing that triggers women. Okay, if it comes to maybe like rape, Probably, let me just be like, consider it and be like, oh, she's saying the truth that, oh, this guy actually came and was trying to rape her. But if he is trying to rape her, that means he has done it before. And that means he's a violent guy. That means he's someone that used to beat her before in the past. I only wish that she had left the relationship right not try to maintain the relationship with the guy and then this guy is actually a rapist or someone that is violent that's why they always tell women that when you enter a relationship and then you notice that oh this person is a violent person or oh this person is is someone that that is just like that is a rapist or something that you probably don't like live on time leave that relationship relationship or marriage is not a do or die affair because at the end of the day what happens is that when you're trying to fight for your life with this person that is trying to rape you or attack you or do something to you you will end up killing the person mistakenly if truly she's saying the truth that she she actually is saying the truth that oh it was true self-defense i wish that she had left that relationship on time so that she does not have to go through this you know and she's so beautiful like i feel like she's so beautiful she can be with any other guy she wants she does not have to to be with this guy you know and i really pray that if truly she's saying the truth that it was just based on self-defense, I pray that the judgment, you know, take its course. Whatever decision they are going to do, let the judge do it right. And may the soul of this guy rest in peace because I'm just done hearing this kind of news about people killing people over relationship. You hear this person's wife kill this person's husband. This person's husband kill this person's wife. Relationship is a do or die affair. Are they tying your legs and your hand to be in that relationship? 
you're not tying your you're not tying your hand or leg to be in that relationship. Nobody's foreseeing you that you have to be in that relationship. You don't have to be there. So you should not always try as much as possible to to put yourself in a position where you do things like this, like make this kind of mistakes. May God help all of us because this kind of mistake can be avoided if you live a very violent relationship. When you notice that this person is violent, if you live on time, mistakes like this can be avoided.